Hi, I'm Deng Yu Yang, and I'm a graduate student from Dr. Jeremy Levy's research group in University of Pittsburgh. Today, I'll talk about our efforts on surface acoustic wave generation and detection on lanthanum aluminate strontium titanate. This topic fits into the big umbrella of grand challenges and open questions in quantum science and engineering. Um, the most popular one is how to achieve quantum computation, and there are leading groups using superconducting qubits to do this. And other questions such as quantum simulation and methods as ion traps and ultra-cold atoms, and also quantum sensing and quantum metrology are all open questions in quantum system. We think controlling quantum matter lies at the center of all these grand challenges. Here, I would like to introduce our approach to control quantum matter. The quantum matter here I'm referring to is the lanthanum aluminate strontium titanate heterostructure, and our approach to control it is using this conductive AFM lithography. To do this, we start from 3 unit cell LO on STO substrate, which is insulating but highly tunable. When we apply a positive voltage to the AFM tip, and drag it along the top surface. It will leave a path of protons, acting like a local top gate, tuning the interface below the path through metal insulator transition. This writing process has a very high resolution. The width can be as small as two nanometers, and it's also reversible, which means we can erase the path by simply applying a negative voltage to the tip and erase it. With this technique, we have tried many different devices at the interface, and one of them is this nanowire-based electron waveguide structure. Basically, it's a nanowire with two barriers to isolate it from the source and drain form the nanowire segment in the middle. The chemical potential of the segment can be efficiently tuned by this side gate voltage. The 1D ballistic transport is well described by the Landau formula. Basically, from the conductance, we can see this E square over H plateaus clearly, which gives us a mean free path of the device around 20 micrometers, which shows that this is really a, a ballistic device. With such ballistic transport in the nanowire, we're not satisfied with this current-based potential tuning methods to tune the transport property. So here comes the question, how to achieve the more precisely controllable electron transport in the nanowires? And I would like to introduce surface acoustic wave as a method, since surface acoustic wave can act as an electron shuttle. There is an intrinsic advantage for surface acoustic wave, which is the speed is around 3,000 meters per second in most of the piezoelectric material, which means it will allow us the in-flight manipulation, such as the detection during the measurement. In 1996, uh, University of Cambridge first achieved single electron transport by sur surface acoustic wave. More excitingly, in 2011, two groups achieved single electron transport between quantum dots using surface acoustic wave on gallium arsenide. With the piezoelectric property of the material, surface acoustic wave can cause such potential minima. Each of these potential minima can carry a certain number of electrons and drag it along the nano wire as the surface acoustic wave is propagating. As this diagram shows, they can use surface acoustic wave kicking single electron back and forth between these two quantum dots and reach an accumulated distance to around 100 micrometers. Uh, more recently, in 2020, Wenzhen et al. introduced surface acoustic wave to LOS2 interface. Taking the advantage of electrostrictive property of STO, by applying a DC voltage between the IDT leads, they're able to generate surface acoustic wave on STO, and the electrons are carried by surface acoustic wave as it is propagating at 150 Kelvin. And our question is, can we go to even lower temperature, such as cryogenic temperature? 
It is shown that strontium titanate has giant piezoelectric property at cryogenic temperature, especially lower than 10 Kelvin. With piezoelectric property, the most common way to generate surface acoustic wave is using this interdigitated transducer device. Basically, it's a metallic comp structure. When we apply positive and negative voltage on each side, it will uh, generate an uh, electric field in the middle looks like this. When we apply an AC signal to it, the electric field will flip its direction back and forth. With the piezoelectric property, that's what cause tension and compression inside the lattice. Then the surface acoustic wave is generated. Usually the detection of surface acoustic wave is by the second interdigitated transducer device. But in our device, we want to couple it with a single electron transistor by tuning the single electron transistor's chemical potential using the surface acoustic wave. Also, we take the advantage of single electron transistor is a very nonlinear device and has been proved to be a radio frequency mixer, which means it can mix two different frequency signals and give us the different frequency signal. To do that, we put a single electron transistor in the middle of a pair of IDT structures and use these IDT structures to generate two different surface acoustic wave signals to measure the difference, fre difference frequency signal. The device looks like this. We have the IDT structure with um, two micrometers wavelength and we have the single electron transistor with 0.5 micrometers uh, barrier distance. This is the experiment setup. We give radio frequency signal to two different IDT structures, and there is a difference frequency, delta F, between these two different radio frequency signals. Also, we did a transport measurement to the single electron transistor. Basically, we have a voltage source. We have a side gate voltage to tune the single electron transistor, and we are measuring its current drain. For the experiment, we did a comparison between the experiment and the control experiment. First, we apply a AC plus DC voltage to the side gate to tune the single electron transistor, and it shows the current drain tuning looks like this. After that, we turn off the AC side gate voltage and turn on the radio frequency gen generator to generate surface acoustic wave, and single electron transistor shows a similar tuning trend. If we plot these two uh, data together, we can see a linear trend between them. We believe this is shown that surface acoustic wave is tuning the single electron transistor's chemical potential, acting like an AC side gate voltage. Moreover, we pattern the IDD structure with MBTIN, which is a superconducting material under 15 Kelvin, and we pattern a pair of them. We pattern different wavelengths of these pairs. One is 8 micrometers and the other is 12 micrometers. Since the acoustic velocity in the material is a certain number, we think the wavelengths and the center frequency should be inverse proportional to each other. So from our results, we can see a clearly peak. We can see a very clear peak happens at the center frequency in the uh, transmission parameter scattering parameter, and it will give us a velocity at 2 Kelvin, around 1200 meters per second. In the future, we want to couple this still with cryogenic temperature, maybe even lower to the millikelvin order, and we want to put the nanowire device in the middle to see the conductance quantization and current steps from the surface acoustic wave transfer. More interestingly, we can couple this uh, surface acoustic wave device with the uh, interesting properties of the LOSTO. LOSTO is a very correlated system which has electron pairing without superconductivity at the LOSTO interface. We can try to measure the change in the conductance quantum to illustrate electron pairing and depairing. Here is a summary. I introduced surface acoustic wave and uh, we use conductive AFM lithography 
to pattern IDT structures and couple with a single electron transistor. And also we use MBTIN pattern IDT structures to measure the surface acoustic wave velocity at 2 Kelvin on LOSTO. And here the velocity is tuned due to the backgate voltage. And that's all, thank you.